Dyslexia is a specific learning difficulty, which some people deal with every day. It's estimated that up to 1 in every 10 or 20 people in the UK has some degree of dyslexia. Hi guys, my name is Jan Harrow and I'm dyslectic, student at Chichester College in Isley, level 2 media. The most popular form of dyslexia is primary dyslexia. It is mostly formed in children which have trouble with reading, spelling, maths and speech. But there is also different types of dyslexia, like secondary dyslexia, trauma dyslexia, and other forms of dyslexia, like ADHD or ADD. Steve Galloway and I work at Chichester College. Uh, I'm a lecturer in additional support and also a learning assistant. Students with dyslexia. Uh, every student who starts a course with us um, and thinks they need some kind of additional help in, with their studies will come and have a initial interview with us. Um, so we'll talk to them about what kind of support needs they have, uh, what they might have had at their previous school and what kind of things they think they might need here. Um, so we can offer students support in, uh, in a lot of different ways. So we might have in-class support where somebody, one of our learning assistants, goes into class and helps out in that way. Or we might have out-of-class support where um, students can come and visit us for one-to-one uh, -one sessions or small group sessions which will be um, anything from support with English and maths or to support with, with their general course. Uh, so that might be if they're studying media, we can go over their media coursework with them and see if everything's going okay with that. Uh, specific have some technologies which help students whose reading and writing isn't so great. So there are computer programs which can convert uh, students' speech into text and vice versa. Uh, we can also give them things like um, acetates, coloured backgrounds, which can help, help their reading. Uh, we can also um, have a word with a student and we can also look into different assistive technologies and see if there's anything new out there which can help the student with their studies. Um, when it comes to exams, uh, students can have an exams concessions assessment with a additional support lecturer um, and this will tell us if we need to give them any extra support in exams. 
So it might be that the student gets a bit extra time, this could be 25% or 50% extra time, or um, they might have a reader who comes into exams with them and reads any questions that they ask. Uh, on certain exams they might also have a scribe, so they might have somebody in the exam who can write things down for them. I'd just like to say that if any student has dyslexia, then at Chichester College we will do our best to help them and support them and there's no reason why they can't uh, succeed and do as well in their course as any other student. Thanks. Everybody should do in their lifetime sometime two things. One is to consider death, to observe skulls and skeletons, and to wonder what it will be like to go to sleep and never wake up. against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But it ought to be different, and we're going to do our